Hi, I'm Tony Soares. Today I just want to talk real quick about uh, how I dry my pots. Um, this is my pot hammock. So the pots can sit in here. They can roll around a little bit if they need to. All my pots, or most of my pots have round bottoms. So as a youngster, I tried to figure out a way to dry these pots without having them crack. Uh, in their pookie dish or in the a bowl of sawdust, but uh, a lot of times they'll get a crack right around here where things dry fast and the bottom part dries slow. Um, back in the olden days, they would have been turning their pots quite a bit just to make sure that they are always drying evenly, especially on these, these big pots with the small necks. It's uh, quite the task to get them done. Uh, and, uh, this, this clay is pretty nice. You can dry it in the wind and it rarely cracks, but it will form a crack along the bottom. My brownware clay likes to crack on the lip, so a lot of times uh, I'll cover the lip up quite a bit with uh, a bunch of cloth. And then uh, I'll put plastic on top of that. Let that dry real slow. Um, no wind in the studio. Uh, summertime it gets a little warm in here. Wintertime it gets a little cold, but as long as you got the lip or the neck covered up pretty good, it'll dry slow enough and not crack. I'm gonna show you how this is set up. My grandmother had made a lot of these Afghan blankets, so I've got them connected with nails. Like little hangers and they work really well and if I want to divide the, the net up here or the, the hammock up I can put a whole bunch of these uh, you can use dowels or I use arrowweed sticks in case you have a bunch of small round bottom pots but I usually will divide it in into quarters there so you can put four pots on each rack maybe gallon sized pots Another pot drying, pot drying, one that's been dried already. A whole bunch of little stuff over here that I need to finish off. But yeah, just two by four construction. Got my arrow quiver on there. And then the real easy built framework. I'll show you another one outside. Okay, here is my traveling rack for my pottery for the greenware, wet clay. Although these pieces are fired, this is just for the demo, but this is how they sit inside of the truck. The back of the truck doing 70 miles an hour and the pieces stay together as long as you don't hit the brakes. A lot of times I'll cover the pots up when they're in here for going down the road, maybe just a little bit of a towel or something in front of them just so they can't really roll forward that much but they they tend to do all right this is so that's the top top deck lower deck here this is how it builds it's a little bit up off the floor probably I don't know five four or five inches there got the little nails for all the, the hangers for the Afghan blankets quilts whatever one to call them they gotta have some airflow so I like the little bit bigger mesh. My sister had made this one for my kids, but uh, I have commandeered it. And then if you want a divider, you can run one of these bamboo sticks or any kind of dowel all the way down and uh, have a, a divided rack. And sometimes if I got a lot of little pots, I'll even put another divider in the middle, but that's kind of how you roll with round bottom wet pots at 60 70 miles an hour and i'll drive sometimes two hour drive sometimes a three hour drive and you're teaching classes all over uh, southern california and extreme western arizona along the colorado river um, sometimes you can't leave pots to dry for a week there's no one there to turn them uh, so this is the way i get them home i can preheat them bring them back we can fire them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.